What is up everybody? This is Flame from WWE Collectors. So today I've got some brand new items for my collection, so let's get right into this. So right over here I got the Nasty Boys. So these are old plastic figures. So I got this from a yard sale. So this is from when they're in WCW. And uh, I really like these figures, so the yellow shirts are awesome with all the uh, lights going on them. And I really like the elbow pads and wristbands and everything. So these are really cool figures. Um, they have a couple marks and stuff over the arms and a little bit on the hair. Mostly on him is the hair. So a little bit of marks, but they're still really cool figures. And then also here, I got Big Show. So this is also a really cool figure, but uh, like I said, this one also has some marks, so it has it on his body and mostly on the back, on his arms. So those were really cool figures, and I'm really glad that I got them. So this is a WWE 2017 base set of uh, Topps trading cards. So this is really cool. Uh, I got a box of it that guarantees relics so on the front, John Cena. Uh, Sasha Banks, AJ Styles, then Shinsuke, Finn, um, Seth, and Dean. And, oh, on the back, which is just John and AJ again. So that was pretty cool. Uh, I really like the new cards. Um, there's also now referee cards. I got a lot of them. But they're still pretty cool that they now pay tribute to the uh, referees. So that was pretty cool. And then for my relic, I was able to get Kevin Owens, and this is a SummerSlam mat relic. So, it's a pretty nice card. And also on the back, it says it is number 28 of 299. So, this was pretty cool to get. So, over here, I got three battle packs with Triple H, Road Dog, Lana and Rusev, and the Wyatt Family, Luke Harper and Eric Ron. So, these two figures, uh, the Wyatt Family... And Rusev and Lana, I got at a yard sale, uh, or at the same yard sale. I got a lot from this one that I found. So this one's pretty cool. It has a little bit of damage on the packaging, but I really like this figure. The back's pretty nice, good condition. So I really like this figure, and uh, I also enjoy how it comes with the sheet mask. So that was pretty cool. As well as this, I got the Lana and Rusev. So this one, what I really like about it is it's the first time in the line, Lana. So this was her first ever figure, and it's also got the cinder blocks with it. So this is a pretty nice uh, battle pack. So I enjoy it. This one just has a little bit on the sides, and that's really it. But it's still pretty cool to get it out of yard sale, and I got it pretty cheap too. So then over here, I got Triple H and Road Dog. So I got this from Walmart. Uh, and this is just really cool. I enjoyed how it was, like, the old figure. So it had the old Triple H and, like, his old outfit and stuff. And then Road Dog. So I really like this battle pack. And overall, these were three great packs. So once again, I got this stuff from the yard sale. So I got five figures. And I actually did not have any of these. So over here, I got two WrestleMania 32 base set figures so these are pretty cool uh so i got eddie guerrero and razor ramon these two figures are probably in the best condition out of all these so i really enjoyed that and then over here i got bray wyatt so this was a little bit more recent as well as bret hart like it wasn't uh with the old logo and stuff so that was pretty cool this one's in nice condition too but it has like a little um a little damage at the top but that's really it. Uh, same with Bret Hart a little at the top. But this is really cool figures. I like the artwork on Bray Wyatt's shirt too. It's the um, goat with the or sheep uh, with the find me on it. And then he's got the pink overalls. So I like that. And then also I got CM Punk. So this was the one that I was talking about with the old logo. And it's Global Superstar Chicago. So this is a really cool figure. Um, it has his little uh, beard on it and then um, it's got the stars and everything and the tattoo work on this is really nice so this one uh, is probably pretty good I mean probably like third condition in this set so that one was pretty cool so these are pretty nice figures 
So last but certainly not least, we got some elite figures. So we got WrestleMania and WWE Network Spotlight. So most of you guys are probably wondering why I have two Triple H's. So I'll explain that in a minute or two. So over here, we got Finn Balor. Uh, this is when he had the blue outfit at TakeOver. So I really love this. Um, in the back, I like how it explains everything about him. It has like height, weight ring attire so everything i like about this um so finn balor is my favorite wrestler and i just absolutely love this blue outfit i've always liked it um because i also liked how it went with the red so i've always liked this and i was psyched to see that they made a figure so i went right away to the store and got one of these so over here i got Shawn michaels and two triple h's for the wrestlemania 33 elite set so, these were on clearance, as you can see, for $13. Or clearance, sorry, my bad. And, uh, so this was very cool. I decided just to pick them up since they were on clearance. Um, so $13 a piece, except, uh, the Shawn Michaels, when I tried to take the sticker off, it ripped. So, what happened was they gave me a new one. And so this one came with, like, no label. And then the person that was getting them for me also saw that um i had a triple h on my receipt so they thought i was returning that one too so they ended up just giving me a free triple h so i was psyched to get that and then also that one also didn't come with a sticker so it, this one was in better condition than the one that i already have so i was really happy to get this so it comes with the wwe championship the sledgehammer and the skull mask, so that was pretty cool. And then this one comes with the WWE Championship. So I also like the background on this, how it has the logo. So everything about this was cool. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.